and good morning. I wasn't laughing when the camera turned on or nothing. No, not me either. I'm super professional. Uh, good morning. Welcome to Community Voice. Uh, I'm your host, Josh Engel. I think my mic is too loud. Uh, today is Tuesday, October 1st. The guys are in there talking about how it's already October. Isn't that crazy? It f- I, I'm shocked. It does not feel like we're that far into the year. No, it just burned right by. Yep. Uh, You're tuning in to Community Voice. Uh, Again, today is Tuesday, October 1st. I'm your host, Josh Ingle, and uh, I am joined by a very busy, very, very very busy gal, uh, Christian Whittington, the director of Giving Back uh, with Southwire's Project Gift. Uh, Good morning, Christian. Hey, good morning. Good morning. We uh, just a heads up. We are live streaming this morning's program on our WLBB Facebook page. So if you have any questions or comments uh, for our guest. Uh, in regards to the Hurricane Helene Disaster Relief Drive going on now, uh, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. through Thursday, October 3rd. Feel free to hop in the chat, and uh, I'd be glad to read those out to our guest, ask her any of the questions you may have, kudos or compliments, any of that. We like compliments, too. That's cool. I mean, that'd be great. It's a great great way to start the day. (laughs) Right? It's like, hey, you guys are really glowing. I'm like, thanks. Appreciate it. Um, Christian, let's get right into it. Yep. Uh, you actually had to leave um, the Southwire uh, Southwire's Project Gifts Hurricane Helene Disaster Relief Drive to be here in studio with us. Yep. You guys got started at 7 a.m. this morning. Yep. Um, first and foremost, tell us how it's uh, uh tell us how it's gone so far. I mean, as, as with any first day of anything, when you start at 7 a.m., it's been a little bit of a slow start, but we also didn't communicate until late yesterday. So we have had people stopping by. We had um, some really sweet ladies that came and had their trunk full of water and things like that. So sweet. those are moments where you're like, okay, all right, we're, the word is getting out. People want to help. Um, if we're already getting donations at 7 in the morning, that's that's pretty good. That's a good start for a three-day drive. So. That's a pretty good sign. And yeah. Uh, of course, uh, we have uh, radio commercials hitting the airwaves today. Michael stayed late to make sure we got them finished, so they're uh, thank you, Michael. They're going to be playing on every station for the next few days, and of course, awesome. Gratitude Communications will be joining uh, Southwire's Project Gift uh, tomorrow and Thursday on site at Walmart at the Walmart Supercenter. Um, Christian, uh, let's take a step back, and for okay. folks who may uh, may not have uh, tuned into a previous program sure. p- before with a uh, with a project gift, tell us a bit about. Well, first, tell us a bit about you, and tell <laughs> us a bit about Southwire's project gift. Okay, a bit about me. Um, so, I am a wife and a mama, and just happen to also be uh, employed at Southwire. Been there for thirteen years, and love what I get to do. I've done a little bit. Uh, of some other things there but for most of my career I've been part of taking care of our people and our communities through what we do to give back um, so we have as part of our giving back efforts a nonprofit organization it's actually called Southwire Cares but nobody knows that that <laughs> overarching name because I you don't see that. that yeah so Southwire Cares is the actual overarching nonprofit and then we've got two programs within that one called the Power Fund that is uh, basically an emergency relief uh, opportunity for our team members so it's internally focused and then Project Gift, which is what most people see and what most people associate with Southwire and giving back. Um, so Project Gift is really our community-facing uh, platform. It's a way for us to get our people out into their communities to serve. Uh, a lot of times that'll be a partnership with an organization that may already have something going on, or it might be through some of the efforts that we host ourselves. So uh, you would have seen, hopefully, by now, our back-to-school events that happen in the summer months. We've uh, done 20 years of back-to-school uh, we have a fairly recent uh, partnership with Water Mission. So for the last three years, we've, ho- we've hosted a Walk for Water to help raise awareness for the global um, water crisis. And of course, disaster relief always seems to be uh, something, unfortunately, that we jump into. It's something that uh, Project Gift is almost 20 years old. So next year will be 20 years for Project Gift itself. And disaster relief is really where it was born. Uh, Hurricane Katrina at the time is where um, the the need was. And we had team members saying, what can we do to help? How can we be a part? And so our first group of, of official Project Gift volunteers went down and served uh, in the Christmas month uh, just to help those that were still displaced after Hurricane Katrina um, help give them a Christmas when they you know, we're still trying to recover. So it's come a long way in that time. I mean, you're talking about a handful of people. Now we have almost 2000 active uh, participants in what we do. And that happens all over our footprints. So it's not just here in Carrollton, it's all the different states and, and countries where we have team members that are um, part of our family. 
So. And this is what happens when uh, everyone is facing the same direction and moving forward yeah. with one goal in mind. I mean, you've seen the organization, as you say, take shape over the last many years. Yeah. Uh, I believe the last disaster relief drive was in 2022 uh, for Hurricane Ian, or perhaps there was one last year. I don't believe so there was. So we didn't do one. No, you're probably right. I'm trying to think if we did. We've done some some monetary fundraisers. I think we did some fundraising last year. Oh, Okay. But as far as a full blown collection like we've set up today, I don't I don't remember if we did do one last year. It may have been or Ian was the last one. So that collection mm-hmm. kind of give people an idea of how it works yeah. because uh, you know a, a lot of listeners might have come through the back to school event. They may have uh, come through your Toys for Tots event, which oh, is yep. also massive every year. Yeah. Uh, um, and it really, it's not so different than one of those other collections uh, or or distributions. Uh, could you take folks through kind of how Southwire? does business yeah when it comes to uh disaster relief yeah uh so what we focus on with disaster relief is collecting much needed items that are non-perishable so um, examples of that obviously would be canned food or uh you know might be even protein bars snack bars things like that uh peanut butter um you know those types of things that can last for a while uh, paper goods, uh, even hygiene products. We'll also, we had somebody ask on social media, will we take pet, you know, pet food? Yes, we'll take pet food. Uh, we'll oh, palletize yeah, that's that. that's a great point. Yep, we get lots of, of questions like that. Some of your larger cleanup items. So if you think about rakes, what would you need to clean your yard if, if all the debris and the things that, I mean, if your house flooded and you're basically pulling things out of the inside of your house you know it's it's five gallon buckets and rakes and the big heavy duty brooms and trash bins the contractor trash bags all that kind of stuff we try to separate all of it out on the truck to the best of our ability Um, even baby items those are some things that we see a lot but what we'll do uh, if, if you come to walmart we have a great relationship with our local walmart they're fantastic to support us and let us take over their parking lot Um, But we'll take our tractor trailers. I mean, the big rigs, they're sitting out in the lot. Uh, We palletize everything that we collect. So that truck just gets filled box by box, pallet by pallet, uh, 25 or 26 pallets a truck. It's a great word, by the way, palletize. You like that? Oh, my God. We're going to have to steal that. That's cool. (laughs) Super cool. Yeah, yeah. And so our volunteers from South Park Project Gift are out all day long. When you as a community member want to be a part and come and give, We try to make it as easy as we can for you. So when you pull up to our truck, you don't even have to get out. You can roll your window down and say, it's in the trunk, pop the trunk, and we'll unload, um, you know, everything that you got us to unload. Um, That way, hopefully, you can just go on about your day. And it's also kind of convenient to be in the Walmart parking lot because if you're getting groceries, you can grab a few extra things and just drop them by. We will also take your monetary gifts. Um, those will go to Project Gift, which again is a leg of our nonprofit. So it technically is tax deductible if you itemize your taxes. Um, but it also gives us a way to shop for the things we don't get. So if, if we get tons of water, but we don't get some of those larger cleanup items, we'll take the cash that's collected, go in the store and add to what's in the truck. I've seen it happen. Yeah, uh, so yeah. I do the fun. same thing with like uh, with toys for tots. You yep. do the same thing. Uh, you know, uh, it's always fun towards the end of the collection. Uh, you or Stephanie or some other folks will will take all the donations and like, all right, well, we're about to give Walmart some business, and yes. you guys will go in and come Clean out with just off. Yeah. ten shopping carts full of rakes and bags, or in Toys for Tots case, gifts of different age ranges that may have been lacking in terms of the collection. Yep. Um, so that's kind of your way of like uh, of balancing it out. You know, folks exactly. are so we have such a generous giving community. Yes, uh, a testament to that uh, would be how many successful nonprofits we have in this region. Yep. But uh, you have so many folks in the community that always show up and show out when it comes to these collection drives. But even if there's something you're missing, the cash donations uh, allow you guys to go get it on your own. Yeah, and as as we go, so so if you've looked at, if you've seen our social posts, you may see that, that we're sending to South Georgia. We're also doing some monetary support for North Carolina. It's a little harder to get into North Carolina in the area that's been hit so hard. So we're going to work through a nonprofit partner there. Um, but with the items that we're getting a lot of times we'll find out as the drive goes that hey we've actually since you guys told us you're coming we've gotten a lot of x so if you could get y you know so that helps us too because by day three we'll probably have a little more information about what they're still lacking there so we can again fill in that gap we hope so excellent well uh, time is 8 40 we're gonna go and take our first commercial break 
But when we come back, we'll continue our conversation with the director of giving back from Southwire's Project Gift as we uh, discuss their Hurricane Helene disaster relief drive that's going on now through Thursday, October 3rd, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the Walmart Supercenter right here on Highway 27 in Carrollton. Uh, so when we come back, we'll talk more about items that, uh, that you can bring to help support this cause and so much more. A Community Voice brought to you by Tanner Health System and Oak Mountain Academy. Health is a journey. It's making better choices, even when it's not easy. It's taking care of yourself and the people you love. At Tanner Health System, we're there for you with every step, with primary care, heart care, cancer care, women's care, orthopedics, surgical services, and so much more. We're dedicated to helping you live and feel your best. So let's get on that journey to health. You've got places to be for many years to come. Find us at Tanner.org. The Entrepreneur Scholar Journey at Oak Mountain Academy is designed to provide students with a clearly defined curriculum-based track to acquire essential knowledge and skills for success in business and leadership. Critical areas include identifying entrepreneurial characteristics, selecting a value position, and business model development. I'm Patrick Uran, head of school, inviting you to journey with us on the mountain. For more information, visit us at oakmountain.us. Discover your journey at OMA. Prepare, explore, and achieve. And we're back to Community Voice. I'm your host, Josh Engel. Time is 842, and uh, today is Tuesday, October 1st. You're uh, tuning into my interview with Christian Whittington. She's the director of Giving Back with Southwire's Project Gift. Uh, one of the, uh, well, it is the outward-facing uh, nonprofit arm of the umbrella nonprofit, Southwire Cares. You're proud of yourself for learning this, aren't you? I was 36 <laughs> years old when I learned that. <laughs> um, turns out uh, there is a collective a nonprofit called Southwire Cares, uh, and you have one uh, division dedicated to uh, internal, uh, taking care of the employees, helping them through rough times. And then you have Project Gift. Uh, she is uh, the director of giving back with Project Gift. And we're talking about the Hurricane Helene uh, disaster relief drive. Uh, on some of the recent programs I've mentioned, you know, our, our grumpy aunt Helene came through mm. and caused uh, stirred up some trouble. She came to squabble. And now uh, we're having a community uh, disaster relief drive going on right now yep. uh, through Thursday, October 3rd from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day uh, through Thursday at the Walmart Supercenter here in Carrollton. Um, we are live streaming this morning's program on our WLBB Facebook page. So if you have any questions or comments for our guests, feel free to throw them in. Even if it's after the program, uh, I can, you know, we can reach out to Southwire and see if we can get answers to those questions. Um, so Christian, let's jump right back into yeah. it. So, um, do you kind of have a, a, an idea? I'm putting you on the spot here, but do you kind of have, um, you know, an estimate of the need from Hurricane Helene? Because from what I understand, we're talking six states. Uh, that were impacted. Mm. Um, you know, what kind of damage are we looking at and where is it? Like, where are uh, some of the goods collected going to be going? So obviously, Helene's damage is widespread, as you mentioned. I mean, you're talking Florida all the way up past North Carolina. Okay, so the stretch is wide. Uh, lots of damage. Uh, we are focusing our collection efforts uh, in primarily two places. And it's uh, largely based on where we've got team members as well. So logistics, we, you know, getting yeah. things to people. If you, I mean, so we've, we've tried really hard as a team to, to refine our approach to disaster relief year over year. And one of the things that look, is for us a way to, to kind of narrow that path is, is where, where our team members impacted. So we've got a plant down in Douglas, Georgia, which is coffee County. Uh, so we've got a lot of connection between Coffee County, Irwin, which is right next to that. Um, we've also got some connections over in Albany where things are still, it sounds like, running right now. Um, and then we also have team members that are in Huntersville, North Carolina, which is outside of Charlotte, and up in Youngsville, North Carolina. So when you think about where our, our people are, that's they're the ones reaching out and saying, hey, what are we going to do to help our friends, our neighbors, our family, whoever it is, you know. Um, so thankfully, at least as of now, what we know is our, we don't have anyone from our team directly that was injured or think no loss of life. Um, but everybody's itching to help, uh, and tons of cleanup. I mean, all I've heard, uh, so actually Ashley Bush that as part of our team and, and serves on the communication side to lead that, those efforts actually is on her way down to Coffee County now 
to help assess and see what we need to do. Uh, she, we've got some goods going directly to our team members that's uh, separate from what we do on the nonprofit side, and she's going to be there to help. And I was on the phone with her before we got here, and she just said, oh, my gosh, I see it. It's like I'm almost there. You know, the, the trees are down everywhere. Um, so far where she was driving, power was still on, but she said, I have a feeling I'm about to lose my signal. So uh, we've had a hard time getting in touch with people down south because signal is spotty, power is still out in most places. Uh, it's, it's rough, and obviously I'm sure you've seen the unbelievable footage of the flooding that's occurred in the Carolinas and in Tennessee. So it's the it's flooding. really overwhelming. It's shocking, the flooding. I mean, yeah. you ha- in South Georgia, in Atlanta, mm-hmm. in North Carolina, I mean, there are there are people whose homes, like I'm talking about like up to their second story. It's like The flooding is shocking. Yeah. So many uh, 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 waterways, uh, there have been a lot of erosion on roads. Yeah, I dams believe, that broke. Dams and, that broke. Yeah. I believe there's, I think the most recent toll was... Uh, of course, I get a Weather Channel app about Helene's Fury reaching yeah. Virginia. Yeah. Look at that. That's crazy. Um, you know, I believe the most recent toll is over 120 something deaths, maybe closer to 150. So. Um, this was a devastating hurricane. Yes. A devastating hurricane mm-hmm. that came inland and, and just wreaked havoc yep. um, all across the Southeast. Um, so here we are, Southwire's Project If, trying to make a difference. Yep. Uh, using uh, Southwire's resources and yeah. the 2,000 plus volunteers through the Southwire family that that comes to help make these events happen, um, you're trying to make a difference and, yeah. and collect materials uh, to help all these families and animals and and businesses that have been displaced. Mm-hmm. So, the Hurricane Helene Disaster Relief Drive is going on right now. You actually left that to come here. It's going to be going on through Thursday. October 3rd, this Thursday, so three days from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the Walmart Supercenter. Um, kind of let folks know how they can support. We talked in the last break about you know how it works. You have a couple of tractor trailers parked out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can pull up. You can make monetary donations, which will go to, to goods to be purchased, uh, or, or you can drop off uh, materials, much-needed materials that can be uh, shipped uh, through uh, Southwire uh, to these locations and handed out and distributed. Um, yeah. If you could kind of give folks an idea of what you, what we need and uh, you know what would make the most impact so so we do have a flyer if if you're a social person if you're a social media person uh, go to Southwire's uh, social media pages it's out on our Facebook page it's out you know for you guys to check and see and and we'll also have copies of that at the drive itself but just high level a few examples Uh, we're collecting paper goods uh, cleaning supplies hygiene supplies if you think about uh, even laundry detergent things that I mean five gallon buckets are actually a huge help during this mm-hmm. time because they might be washing their clothes in those buckets they might be pouring water in their toilet because things are not running properly you know so those buckets really come in handy both for what they can do to stay hot you know personally taken care of and then if they're doing a, a big cleanup effort so those five gallon Home Depot and Lowe's buckets those are huge um, big helps uh, snack food or non-perishable food. So just think about things that'll last a long time. Uh, we are asking, um, for pop top. So obviously they may not have a can opener. It could have very easily gotten washed away if nothing else. So if you can think pop top lids, easy to open things that you could heat up on a gas stove or, uh, you know, the easiest way to get food in your belly and be, you know, somewhat satisfied, uh, even socks and undergarments and feminine hygiene products, all those are things that we're collecting. I'm looking at my list, my cheat sheet, um, and we'll even take baby items. So uh, I, you can only imagine if grocery stores are not open, what do you do if, if your you know, baby is still using formula, um, you know, baby food and things like that. I mean, all of that is scarce right now in these hardest hit areas. Uh, blankets. New and unwrapped, if possible, Um, but please new. We are asking that whatever you bring, that it please be new. Just consider what you would want in that situation. Um, And we don't have the means to take used items and sort them properly and get them, you know, utilized. So new uh, for blankets unwrapped. Those are just examples. Um, But anything that you can think you might need in the aftermath of a disaster, a lot of people still without power. So what is something that they could, you know, open quickly and still eat protein bars and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, power bricks. I know that there are a lot of yeah, uh, great like those little solar power bricks. Like those are incredible. Yes. I mean, you can charge one of those on a, on a normal phone charger and then charge several phones off of that thing. Definitely. Now, uh, just to specify, so undergarments and, and socks, that's welcome. Yeah. But, but clothes, like yeah. clothes, I, uh, I don't believe that's something that, that you guys try to we'd, collect. We'd prefer. 
Yeah, I'm just going to say no. Uh, we do get some of that sometimes, but it is really difficult. Um, I, I still have a, an image of one of the disaster relief events that we went to. and uh, It was outside of Starkville, Mississippi, several years back. And we went into basically their community center. And I cannot tell you the amount of clothes that were just... It, it was kind of like dumped across because they were trying to sort and it was such a such an overwhelming thing to try to go through and so so we we're not going to play in that game uh we feel like they're going to get a lot of that already and we'd rather focus on some of the non-perishable items that are easy to hand out we don't have to figure out sizing and all that kind of stuff we Absolutely. can just say here's a care package thank you and be on your way <laughs> absolutely logistic wise yeah. would be a nightmare so yeah. this is we're talking great, about great question life-saving items right now food yes. uh food and and buckets to help with the cleanup and you know anything baby baby goods yeah um you know so the clothes you know there are other nonprofits and organizations out there that that have the resources in terms of uh, dividing those up by size and yep. keeping them dry and getting them to wherever they needed to go absolutely um, but for this collection drive we're really highlighting uh, we're really highlighting, you know, personal goods, mm -hmm. uh, food, uh, cleanup supplies, and so much more. Um, time is 8.51, so we're going to go ahead and take our last commercial break. But when we come back, we'll wrap up our conversation with the director of Giving Back with Southwire's Project Gift, Christian Whittington, as we chat more about the Hurricane Helene disaster relief drive going on right now uh, through uh, Thursday, October 3rd, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the Walmart Supercenter in Carrollton. Community Voice brought to you by Tanner Health System and Oak Mountain Academy. Health is a journey. It's making better choices, even when it's not easy. It's taking care of yourself and the people you love. At Tanner Health System, we're there for you with every step, with primary care, heart care, cancer care, women's care, orthopedics, surgical services, and so much more. We're dedicated to helping you live and feel your best. So let's get on that journey to health. You've got places to be for many years to come. Find us at Tanner.org. Oak Mountain Academy is an innovative school of academic excellence celebrating over 61 years. I'm Patrick Uran, head of school, inviting you to join us on the mountain to see our mission and vision in action. Academic excellence, a faith-based environment, and dynamic opportunities are just a few of the reasons our families choose Oak Mountain Academy. Academic scholarships and tuition assistance are available. For more information, visit us at oakmountain.us. Discover your journey at OMA. Prepare, explore, and achieve. And we're back to Community Voice. Today is uh, Tuesday, October 1st. If you've been uh, tuning in with us, uh, you know that we are chatting with Christian Whittington, the Director of Giving Back with Southwire's Project Gift. Uh, if you haven't joined in with us, go back and watch the full uh, live stream or check out the podcast of this episode, which will be uploaded to the station's website as well as graticcommunications.com. Uh, please share it. Spread the word. Mm -hmm. uh, we want everyone in the local community to know that Southwire's Project Gift has a Hurricane Helene disaster relief drive going on right now uh, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day, today, tomorrow, and Thursday. And this is a, a massive effort uh, on behalf of Southwire's Project Gift, the outward-facing nonprofit arm of Southwire. Uh, they, uh, they always step up and show up and show out when it comes to these uh, community relief funds and community relief drives, uh, whether it be uh, hurricanes, tornadoes, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. Southwire always steps up, and it's 2,000-plus Project Gift volunteers show up in the black shirts to make it all happen. Um, so, uh, at, Christian, let's continue. The uh, You know, you have uh, – we're so grateful to have such a giving and supportive community that mm -hmm. shows up every year for – for uh, Toys for Tots, for these hurricane disaster reliefs uh, or just disaster relief drives. Um, individuals stop by, they drop off the needed materials, which we can cover again here in a few minutes. Um, but there are other ways that folks can donate. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned, uh, you know, of course, monetary donations will be used by Southwire to uh, to purchase uh, perhaps some goods that, uh, that they may have been lacking in terms of the collection. Mm -hmm. uh, but you were just talking with me uh, during the break that businesses can also uh, join together and make donations as well. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, so I, I was really glad you asked, what, what else do we need to touch on? Because, um, you know, as of this moment, it's not as though we, we've really reached out and asked for sponsors per se. 
Um, but we do have ways that businesses can support. So there's a couple of things to note. Uh, if you have things that people at your business have brought, maybe you guys want to do something just internally, you're welcome to bring your items to us and we'll get them down to where they need to go. Uh, there's something obviously more, there's a lot of work in figuring out where things need to be taken, the freight, the cost that can get, it can be to get things to where they, you know, safely need to be delivered. We can help with that. Um, but beyond that, even if you just want to give a small gift from your business uh, to Project Gift, so again, to further those efforts and allow us to buy additional items uh, using our volunteer base to go into the store and shop, you can do that through our partners with the Community Foundation. So if you've ever given on the Community Foundation of West Georgia's website, you go to their site, you go to Give Now, and you can search Project Gift. And you'll see South Wires Project Gift come up. And when you click on that, follow the steps to give whatever amount of your choosing. Obviously, you're giving through a nonprofit. So again, for businesses, that's important to know. Uh, and just all I would ask is in the notes, there's a note section, just put disaster relief so we know where you want your funds to go. And we'll, be, we'll continue to check that throughout the next three days. But that's just a way that even if you can't get out to the drive and you want to help and you want to give, you can do that and we'll make sure your funds get to the right place so we can buy much needed items for our friends that are incredibly impacted right now. Incredible. Yeah. I mean, their entire lives have been turned upside down. It's so overwhelming to watch. This yeah. is a shout out and invitation to all the local businesses and yeah. organizations. Hey, have your own private collection, you know, and bring that over to uh, to help support Southwire Project Gifts efforts. Yep. Uh, and we'll do our best to shout you out. I mean, I would say that we'll be checking. And if you give, we'll make sure the radio is going to be with us tomorrow and Thursday. We'll do our very best to give you a shout out to make sure people know that you've been a part of this. Absolutely. So. Hey. That's a great, that's a great incentive saying, tax free, free advertising, free really. advertising on top of doing a great, great <laughs> deed. Uh, so we're down to about a little under three minutes. Okay. If you could, um, one more time, uh, tell folks when, where, how, and uh, some items they can bring. Yeah. So we are set up in our uh, local Walmart in Carrollton. We're right in that parking lot. They've been great supporters of all the different collection efforts we've had over the years. So really appreciate them uh, being a support to us. We'll be there. You cannot miss our beautiful Project Gift tractor trailers. We've got two of them ready to load up. We would love nothing more than to fill up two tractor trailers and send it down to the relief effort. Uh, you can come anytime between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. today, tomorrow, and Thursday. Uh, we'll be out in that lot. We'll have volunteers that will unload for you. So you can pull up, pop your trunk, and tell us what we take. And our volunteers will offload. You never even have to get out of your vehicle. And then you can drive on about your day. If you go to Walmart and shop, then we would ask you, go get your groceries and maybe add a couple more things to your basket and bring it out as you're going back to your vehicle. And of course, you can also give monetarily. You can do that through Cash Check or through the Community Foundation website. And we'll have a QR out there for you to be able to scan that if you're interested. Uh, again, all of those monetary gifts will go to support the items that we're purchasing and or to North Carolina because we're sending a uh, monetary gift to, to North Carolina as well to help aid in the relief effort there. So Excellent. Uh, and cleaning supplies, personal yeah. hygiene products, uh, buckets yeah. to help with a, a, a you know, uh, cleanups again, you know, all these lists are going to be available on social media, uh, Southwire social media, uh, Christian, we're out of time. Thank you so yeah. much for taking the time to, no, to leave the you. collection, to come <laughs> over here and join us and spread the good word. Uh, we'll be out there with you uh, tomorrow and Thursday, helping beat the drum, letting everyone know where all the good work is happening right out there at the Walmart Supercenter here in Carrollton. Again, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thank you for and, having uh, me. Thank you for everything that you and project give to. And, uh, thank you to everyone who tuned in, uh, on the program today. Uh, we will see you at the Hurricane Helene Disaster Relief Drive going on now through Thursday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the Walmart Supercenter here in Carrollton. See you there.